This tutorial is an overview on how to utilize the Signature Closer's mobile application to make outbound borrower confirmation phone calls, as well as to update the status of existing signings that you have yet to close out in our system. You will notice at this point there's no activity on the phone. From time to time you will receive various notifications from us, whether it's to accept a closing, to notify you that you need to call a borrower, or to update you that you need to update the status of signing in our system. You'll notice the notification came through telling you that you need to update the status of test file SC test 120. So we'll click on the notification. Unlike when you're accepting a closing, this actually takes you directly into the individual closing in question. If for just a moment we back out of this closing, and you'll see at the bottom of the screen you can make a borrower call or update the closing status once you're drilled into it, but if we back out for just one moment, you'll see Available Signing tab and then an Assigned Closings tab. The Available Signing tab are any closings that are available to be accepted that have not yet been assigned to a mobile notary signing agent. Assigned Closings are all of those closings which are already assigned to you. You'll notice that some of the closings contain icons, a phone icon and a checkmark icon. The phone icon indicates that an outbound borrower confirmation call needs to be made on the closing. A check mark indicates that it is the day of closing and documents have been forwarded, which indicates you can go into the system or into the mobile application and update the status of the signing. You will see that certain signings do not contain any icons. For instance, SC Test 121, the first closing on the screen, does not have either icon. The reason is because this is a lender-buyer-only transaction and there is no need to make a borrower phone call to confirm the appointment. You will also note that documents are not available, therefore this closing is not able to be updated in regards to the status. While you are within the application itself, there may be a situation where you actually receive a notification while looking at the application. In this situation, you will not receive a notice at the top of the screen, but rather you will receive a notification in, an, in the form of an alert while you're within the application. So we'll push through another status update and you'll see that status SC or updating the status of file SC test 121 is now a possibility. So we'll click OK. And you'll see that then drills you down into this particular closing. If we back out for just a moment, you'll see that there is now a check mark next to this closing to indicate the docs have been forwarded and it is the day of closing. So you're now able to go in and update the status of this signing. So now we'll walk through step by step how to, how to make an outbound borrower phone call. So if we click on the closing with the phone icon to drill down into the file and click call borrower, a box will appear that asks if you are ready to make an outbound phone call to the borrower. Simply click OK and you will be directed to the dial pad on your phone to make an outbound call. Once you've done this, you will notice that the phone icon disappears. This indicates that there is no need to make another outbound call to the borrower. However, you will be able to still access the call borrower button at any point during the closing if the borrower call button was available originally. That will be appear within the closing itself. If we drill down into the same individual closing, you'll see the call borrower button as we indicated. And in the bottom right corner, you'll see a button for update closing status. Click this button and you'll see a window that shows closed or trip fee. If you select trip fee, please be aware that comments are required. Once you click closed, you'll be asked if you collected funds at the closing table. Simply click select an option and you'll be given the choice of yes funds were collected, no funds were due, no but funds will be wired, no funds collected see notes. Please note we do require notes if you select no funds collected comma see notes because we've also given, the, uh, given you the option that no funds were due and no but funds will be wired. So if funds were not collected and it was not one of those other options we need to understand why. For this example we'll simply click yes funds were collected. We'll click submit and you'll see that it's saving the updated closing status to our software. Click OK. You'll notice that the closing is no longer in the assigned closing view. It has been updated and has been removed from your mobile application. Thank you for watching this tutorial.